Hi folks, it's Sid here from Border Archery. This is uh, Mellison House. Um, we are, well, yeah, about 400 yards that way from the house. Anyway, what I want to try and do is I want to try and talk about um, stack. Mm, flies. Um, the opposite of um, smoothness, right? The, the negative connotation of smoothness. Um, first off, um, how what is stack? Stack is where the bow starts to feel tough to pull. That can be because you're overbowed. That could be because the bow is of a poor geometry. It's got nothing to do with the materials. Geometry. Um, the geometry is created via the core, the core tapers, the. Uh, the widths of the limb and the shape of the limb and the riser angles and the riser deflex okay all that kind of stuff bamboo doesn't make a bow smoother to pull right if anybody tells you that ask them to prove it because i will quantifiably tell you they're talking rubbish okay so what is it and where does it come from well, first off, you have to define um, how you, you kind of measure um, poundage increase, okay? So, what you have is um, poundage going up, so say 40, and then draw length going out to say uh, 28 inches, okay? Right? Now, nothing happens for the first bit, okay, because that's your, your bracing height. Then at say 9 inches, depending on the bow design, but at 9 inches you start with zero, because you haven't started pulling it yet. And at 10 inches you might end up with say 5 pounds, so you end up with a dot in the map. Yeah, it's coming a bit closer, right? So then the five pounds might gain by another four pounds, so you've now got nine. And you can start drawing dots up the graph. And what will happen is you'll end up with preload going in, and you'll end up with a draw, something like that. Okay, that's conventional for a bow. Okay, that's very normal. Right? So, up to about that point there where it bulges outwards okay where it's convex that part's called preload and then where it goes concave that part's kind of called stack now here we go for all the stick in the muds I think we'll call them they're gonna say it's only stack when it goes up like an absolute rocket ship well, I don't agree. And the reason why I don't agree is because stack, that feeling of hard to pull, is relative to your personal experiences. If every single one of your bows stacks like a freight train, absolutely brick wall at the back end, then a mild brick wall will feel buttery smooth to you. I can say this because having made progressively smoother limbs each one's the smoothest buttery draw that we've ever felt in our lives before until we come out with the next generation and then the previous one feels like it stacks. So the term stack is a mobile definition that we can't stick the tail on the donkey. Well, you kind of can, and I've got two definitions which I'm going to try and put down here, right? Where if you draw... Let's uh, try and draw a straight line, okay? If you try and draw a straight line through it, right? Then if you're going up from that straight line, you're into stack. If, so, um, if you're less than that line, then you're not quite in stack. Right, there's a... There's a a kind of a definition to be had in there. 
but it falls short. It really does fall short, right? Because what you're actually looking for is the severity of the angle at the back end of the draw to define stack. And how would you define a bow that did that versus a bow that did that? How do you define the difference? You can. The term, the terms of that um, that definition don't cover it because at no point did it stack. Okay, back to my, my idea that when it starts to go up, when it starts to go from convex to concave at that inflection point, that's where the bow starts to stack. But what that definition doesn't really do, and it's quite rubbish at, is it doesn't tell you how hard the stack is when you do get to it. So, for example, this is a long one. Yeah, you can you can have a quite a tight back end there, but yet come in dead buttery smooth. So the stack is actually quite short and also quite abrupt. You don't get that definition there. There's no there's no information. Okay. So, um, my my definition requires two terms, two measurements. One is where the stack starts. And then how long it goes on for. Yeah? So most bows are around about 19 inches. Yeah? And then it's, it's quite smooth in terms of its hard, hard upturn. There was, there was another definition which is quite cool. Um, it doesn't quite define stack as such, but it does really, really allude to it. Which is, at the halfway point between 8 inches and 28 inches, yeah, what's your draw weight? Okay? So let's say you've got a bow that's um, 40 pounds. Uh, these are the 28 values. And then at the halfway line, right so it's 40 pounds here but it's 20 pounds there what if you've got another one that's 40 pounds here and it's 38 pounds there well that's going to be smoother isn't it yeah do you want to see a bow that stacks like a crazy thing yeah now what you can do is you can work out a percentage for each of these yeah you can you can work out how much of your draw weight you've achieved is it 60 percent 70 percent 80 percent 95 percent of your draw weight at the halfway line and what that does is it tells you how full the graph is and that's quite important that's quite a funky one that yeah because we band around the term stack like we know what we're talking about and yet you haven't got a clue about the subjective experience of the person who says a bow's buttery smooth there are big brands out there that get branded around as buttery smooth oh it's a really smooth bow they're average at best average compared to a conventional limb yeah average at utter best and yet and yet what would you do if you actually came across a smooth bow if you'd said the average was smooth yeah so there you go now what are we talking about here we're talking about um, between conventional limbs a growth in that last inch the, the definition of that angle of 2.05 to 2.15 pounds of growth that poundage of growth is uh, it's negligible difference between the two yeah and then you get some people saying that they prefer the more stacky limb right and they prefer it because they're hitting a wall if you actually talk to any competent archer they're probably talking about like an eighth of an inch or a sixteenth of an inch 
of 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 expansion to get the the arrow through the clicker yeah and the difference is 0 0.1 pound over a whole inch really they feel this there's utter waffle spoken in an eighth of an inch you can feel that in an eighth of an inch of expansion I think you're full of rubbish what you should be doing is you should be using muscle contact you should be using form and technique not how you got there to define your your anchor point it's a bit like using your sat nav but not using your sat nav to define where you're going to go you're just going to drive off for 10 minutes and then you're going to turn right and then you're going to drive for another 15 minutes what direction did you start in you're utterly blind it doesn't matter how you got there what matters is what your gps says when you need to be right on the dot right on the location yeah so that's how that's that's your your muscle um location that's your your understanding as to where you are right you need to be clicked in know how you got there that there has no bearing on here so the concept of people saying they like it stacky i've never had such crud in all my life now if you've got 10 pounds or 38 or 20 at the halfway point on your your um your draw then that tells me how full the graph is so if you got to 10 pounds then you have to go up i mean i don't care how you achieve the 10 pounds but you're just hollow you can't have the data the the, the energy in the system if you got to 20 pounds you're running effectively a straight line through you get to 20 right and then i mean it's gonna be like how how else can you have that whereas if you get to 38 pounds right you've actually indicated how much energy you've got in your bowl and that's where smoothness wins every time smoothness is a serious or stack the lack of is a serious indicator as to how much energy is in the bowl now when it comes to buying a super recurve and everybody's saying oh it's smooth it's smooth nobody actually tells you how smooth some of them are absolutely pathetic in terms of their smoothness to be a super recurve yeah so what you need to know is you need to know how much poundage is gained at the halfway line see what i mean there's a serious lack of information flying around here i have no problem stating this i think i have the smoothest limb out there i also have a very smooth conventional limb and i've got one halfway in between you can choose where you want to be on the smoothness graph I, i'm not i'm not here to judge yeah but i think people need to start quantifying the differences because there's a serious lack of information going around and there's a serious um bias towards um the latest bow somebody's bought being very very smooth very very smooth compared to what a concrete wall see what i mean there's no there's no indication there so hitting a wall saying that you like it because it defines your anchor rubbish mate rubbish absolute rubbish i've never heard such rubbish in all my life yeah i i, I lose respect for people who say that if you want to try and quantify the smoothness then you're going to be an informed educated individual and that has to be a better place for choosing your next bowl i'm not here to tell you how smooth you want your bowl i'm here to say that you can actually quantify how smooth your bow is and therefore you can choose which way you want to go i can tell you that smoother generally has more energy in it yeah so it's up to you guys yeah a bow can be measured we need less meth All right thanks for watching any questions ping them in the comments and i'll do my best to answer all right, cheers.